What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we're here to talk about Battlefield. Now, I don't know what happened. Uh, actually, this did occur on my birthday, so maybe I was a little distracted, but I'm late. I'm like five days late to this. You know, I like to cover when games get delisted, when games get taken down. I like to put it on one of my three channels. I have an entire third channel just dedicated to game preservation, Podcast Now, Back to the Past. But I, I like to talk about, you know, when a Forza Horizon 4 is taken down when a knockout city is taken down i like to report on it and i'm a little disappointed that uh, this completely for a big game big game franchise i guess more but this went completely under my radar uh and just i completely missed it so what we're here to talk about is the death almost the complete death of Battlefield 3 and the near death of Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. Now, I can't say it's all that shocking. In fact, last year, and this is what I like about me having myself, boosting my ego, about having a third channel, you know, they uh, brutally murder the likes of Battlefield Bad Company. That was that was last fall. You know, last fall we lost a couple of close, you know, comrades, right? And Bad Company 2 being, I think, the best of those, I think, three Battlefield games they took out last year was one of them. Um, you know, I replayed Bad Company 2 to celebrate, played it online. Sadly, there was absolutely nobody playing it around two weeks before they killed it, but that's okay. They have done this before. EA has done this before, and also they've done it before with Battlefield. So I am not shocked, but I got to be real. This is a real sad one. It's mainly because of Battlefield 3. So I want to read over the news and what exactly, because depending on the system, certain things are not being killed off. You know what I mean? So I want to read what's happening with these games, and then I'll talk about my opinion on it. So I'll take it from Battlefield Comms over on Twitter. Again, it was posted on June 28th on my birthday. Must have been too busy. On Wednesday. July 1st, the following Battlefield titles will be removed from digital storefronts and you will no longer be able to purchase them along with the uh, DLC. Uh, Battlefield 3 specifically on 360 and PS3, Battlefield 4 also on 360 and PS3, and Hardline on 360 and PS3. Online services for these titles on these platforms will end on November 7th. While the online components of these titles close for these platforms, if you own the game, you'll still be able to play the single player component. It. Please note, Battlefield 3 will still be available to play on PC, and then Battlefield 4 and Hardline uh, will still be available for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. The announcement today does not affect these titles and platforms. And what's actually very depressing about this, you know, if you saw underneath there, it says it'll take you to their website. In a way, I guess I'm impressed, but in a way, it's actually quite depressing. It takes you to a website where EA basically shows off their dead games, right? You click, it's alphabetized, and uh, there's like A through whatever F, and you click on them, and it's it's just a list of every game they've taken offline on the systems that it's, it's impacted. Good for history's sake, I suppose, but when you look at all the games, and you're like, oh my god, look at all these games that are not available. So, you know, again, I, I like to make videos when these things happen. I like to kind of vent about it. And I will say, I feel like this kind of throws my plans off because I kind of, I booked almost the entire year for videos on my third channel. I really want to play Battlefield 3. I was actually talking to a friend of mine that maybe uh, in the future, this is, I didn't know, in the future we should play the multiplayer for Battlefield 3 because... Battlefield 3 specifically, that two things. One, I think that is probably the best Battlefield. And I, I know that's not like a controversial opinion. That's kind of the, the, the mentality online. But I got to, like for myself personally, and I've told this story before, I'm not a big first person guy, okay? I'll play them. I respect the genre. I think they're generally like pretty solid, but I, I'm not going to say it's my favorite. I kind of grew up, well, not grew up, but probably 12, 13, 14, 15. I played COD. And it's I don't care too much about like COD versus Battlefield. I played what I enjoyed in the time, right? And eventually Battlefield got me. My friend actually would have the the bad company games. I got into it kind of through that, to be honest with you. But Battlefield Three specifically is the first Battlefield game that I owned. I rented. I remember renting, and he actually rented, and we would play it at his house too. The bad company games. But Battlefield Three was the first, and I own it. It's actually over there. I have it actually physically. I don't even need to get it because of this delisting stuff. Battlefield. 3. It was a killer game. And from my own personal, you know, kind of memory and, and recollection, like it's the game that got me into the franchise. It, it, it holds a special place in my heart. And maybe, you know, if you microanalyze, not to say that that's wrong, but if you look at each Battlefield game, you know, maybe it's not the strongest. I know people uh, sometimes like four, they sometimes like five, right? It, it depends kind of on the person. But Battlefield 3, you know, I kind of came at it from like the destructibility and, and just how good it. Now, it, it's old at this point, right? 
I remember it being just so visually beautiful and kind of just stepping into this new world of a shooter game really is what it was to me going into it, right, from where I came from. And uh, I don't know if it's like that now, but that's what it was, you know, when I played it. But I have very fond memories. I, to be honest, I have very fond memories of 3 and 4. Those are my, I think, two favorite. Those are the ones I played the most of. Those are the ones that really got me in. And they kind of set the expectations so that when the future games didn't really match them or, like, you know, 2042, that, you know, you, you match them up to the best ones and that's why you know the, the last couple at least right uh, were disappointments so that sucks now I'll give I always try to give like well at least they do this at least they do I, I try to say that in all these videos right this is an interesting one where it's like you got to almost be careful of like where you're where you're playing you, you got to look at the consoles right so I have it on PS3 from what I've heard the multiplayer is very low in terms of how many servers are even open or how many people are even playing it seems like PS3 you might be able to find matches so that's something I'm going to be looking to do over the next couple months you know replay three you know for any Anything good that this does obviously it's also bad it not only delists it which you know I constantly talk about on all three of my channels right delisting thank God that you know you have it and at least for this game it's got the campaign right the the older battlefield games have the campaign so at least you can play that and there's some value even when they take it away say like the crew right when they take away the crew they take away the crew when they take away Forza Horizon 4 they take away the entire game at least with battlefield you're taking away I think the best part of it but the campaign of three is really good so it's not like you're taking away the whole thing you can still do it on pc battlefield four and hardline like they're also you know i've only been talking about three some of like the golden age of battlefields right they're being uh, impacted here so you know four and hardline are also definitely not as bad right because i actually i have i believe four as well physically i don't have hardline so maybe i should try to get that before it's too late uh, but you know that's still available on uh i don't even want to call it current gen because it's not right just like the next generation ps4 xbox one you can still play those you just obviously can't do it on ps3 360 so again is it surprising no that's the era where these games are impacted and you know again we talk about specifically ea and, and is there any surprise with battlefield shouldn't be because you literally look last year to all of the games the other three battlefields that were uh, impacted you know it's only going to be a matter of time two three four years from now that you're going to get like battlefield five and one they're on they're next up they're literally next up to bat and <laughs> they're going to get taken out back and, and have something done to them like that's going to happen in the next couple of years uh it's something, again, I try to fight fight against in the sense of I like to vent about it. I think it shouldn't. I get why it's done. I, I honestly do. And especially, you know, there was a sense to me, and, and I you know, I made a video on Bad Company uh, 2 on my third channel last year. You can check it out if you're – I thought it was a good video. But, you know, one thing that disappointed me was, you know, I played and I played multiplayer and, and there was nobody. So there is a degree – you know, I, I try to make this transparent in these videos. You know what I mean? They they have to do what they have to do. I try to look at it from, like, the game preservation side where it's like I want these games – the multiplayer too. But I understand that that's kind of unrealistic, right? There was, like, ten people maybe max, play, you know, playing Bad Company 2 the last couple of weeks before it was taken offline. You know, and even when I made the video talking about it, people told me in the comments, yeah, I tried to jump on to, you know, celebrate its death, basically, and I also couldn't find, it wasn't just me, other people couldn't find matches. So it's like, what do you expect them to do? You know, if there's 30 people playing Battlefield 3 right now, what do I expect for the game to last the next 30 years? The delisting thing is, is part of the thing that bugs me. Losing the multiplayer, that's, you know, again, I get it to a degree, but it's also sad. It's also, you know, this was something that I think made people Battlefield fans. And you could say, well, maybe they'll remaster them and stuff. Maybe, maybe. But, you know, what tends to happen with these multiplayer games like the CODs and Battlefields is they kind of just, like, bring the maps with them. So you'll never, I don't really think you'll ever get Battlefield 3 because I think what you generally get with these is, well, we'll take some of the more notorious, or the I don't notorious is probably more negative, right? We'll take some of the bigger iconic maps and we'll just kind of move them up. And I think that's what even 2042 did, right, with some of these things. So I don't know, like for those that say, well, maybe you can get a three or four remastered now. I don't. Th I think you just recycle them. You kind of get the maps remastered, but I don't think you'll ever get the full game remastered. Same with Bad Company 2. That game's gone. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think you're going to get that either, except for, again, maybe uh, recycled maps of some, of some sort. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.